a wonderful good morning from Twinbush. We are here at the Auto Mechanica and we thought, why don't we actually take you guys along and show you what's happening? So as you can see, Twinbush, obviously one of our most trusted partners, which we've worked with for the longest time, one of the longest. And we quickly just want to show you around. Some people might not be interested in lifts, but the good thing about Twinbush is they got some sick cars around here as well. Obviously, you have some different variations of the two post lifts with the LEDs, which are actually like quite a lot. And that is actually super practical because let's say you work in a workshop where there's not too much light, you still get some kind of reflection so you can see a bit more. Obviously, the beautiful old Porsche right there. So uh, obviously the car here looking very, very, very good. Let's move on. They got an R8, I think it's a GT3. The cool thing about Twinbush is the owners of Twinbush, they really love cars and have a beautiful car collection as well. So all the cars are actually owned by Twinbush. It's so sick. I think, honestly, maybe we should do a Twinbush livery on a car, on something very cool. Oh, but I'm getting a call. We lost an iPhone. That's what happened. So obviously that looks really cool. Maybe we should definitely do a livery just like that. The cool thing about Twinbush for any of you who might have a garage or a workshop and want to do something like that are the prices because even something like that, which is quite big, is not too crazy expensive. So definitely check it out. But I think for us, it's time to actually move around a little bit and see what else is here because obviously they got tire mounting machines as well. They got a beautiful stand. Everything is perfect from the CI. Literally everything looks so good. An engine right here, Lewis, what engine is that? Um, a big one. Then we got an LMP car up there, also owned by Twinbush, looking quite crazy. Again, in the livery, very, very, very cool. There's one of my favorites, the Lamborghini Urus Performante, finished in, I think it is blue Cephas, but I'm not too sure, which looks stunning, like very, very stunning paint, especially if you go up close with the little metallic effect, looking really good. And then something very special up there, which is a BMW Z8, which we also used to own actually in black, but with red leather. And these double stackers are actually very, very interesting for us. But the issue is like that one, because you don't have a lift side on that side. Um, for us, it's not possible because we got floor heating in the cave, so we can't actually screw into the floor. Um, but there's different options just like that one. And I think one of these, or like two, three, four, five, we actually might need. Because in the coming future, for a few projects, we'll need a lot more space. Oh, you can actually see the wood. For people who don't know, with race cars, usually that kind of stuff is always wood. To be fair, it looks very similar from the downside to a Dallara. Yep. But then here, we get to a very controversial side, let's put it that way. Uh, brand new Ferrari Puro Sangria V12 in green, which is quite a bold statement, I would say. I think in black, they're getting better and better visually. I'm not sure about colors on these cars. I mean, they're just obscenely expensive. SF90 there as well. And obviously above that, a GT Black Series, a Magna Orange, which I absolutely adore. That's a car which we will definitely have to add to the collection at some point. But yeah, this right here is the Twimbo stand. If you need anything, make sure to check them out. Uh, so basically we need to do a challenge now. Yes. Uh, we need to take a tire of a rim, which I have never done. He has never done. Same here. And Twinbush is thinking it's funny if a professional does it against us. But we watched it once at uh, LB Technics. Yeah, once. Yeah. We watched it. So technically we know how to do it now? Theoretically speaking, yes, but I do not even know what these pedals do or what that does or what anything of it does. But the good thing is because it's a professional against us, it's going to be a tag team. Lewis and I against Twinbush timing everything. I'm not sure how well this is going to go, but we'll try out. And that's the most important thing. But right now we need to wait for the tiger, right? Oh yes. It's a real life tiger, no joke. Let's go. Okay, das time job. Ich, ich guck mir die Pedale an. Hey, guck mal da ein Vogel. Guck mal. Mm, da, genau, da, klar. Da, <lacht> Jetzt liegen überall Tauben rum, gell? <lacht> Ich zeig nur die Twinbush Kompetenz. Hey, hey, hey. <lacht> so. Fertig. Eine Minute und 40 Sekunden. Ja, so. eine Minute 40. Du willst montieren? Ja. <lacht> <lacht> Auf die Plätze. Fertig. Let's go. Okay, bam. Tast hier raus. Tast hier runter. Tast hier runter. Ja, ups, das war so, dann wieder hoch. Was was das jetzt? Hey, die Rolle muss doch da drauf sein. Der muss runter, ne? Wusste ich. So? Ah, wir ziehen da noch rüber, 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 rüber. Okay, es sieht gut aus. Jetzt muss das Ding wieder hoch, runter. 
Ja, genau. Genau so hätte ich es nämlich auch gemacht. Den Reifen hinten über den Haken hochziehen. Mit der Hand? Mach du das mal. Ja. Ich komme da nicht ran. Ah, aber weil ich jetzt hier ein bisschen höher gehe. Wir haben es gerade ja, selber warte, warte. ohne Hilfe gemacht. Wie man sieht, mit Twinbush ist das alles sehr leicht. Hey! So machen das Profis, meine Lieben. Ja, knapp daneben ist auch vorbei. 30 Sekunden werden <lacht> eindeutig Sekunden gewonnen. Schneller. Sieht man. Ja, okay. Die Minuten zählen wir hier nicht mit. Ah, okay. Heißt 32 Sekunden. Richtig. Aber man muss dazu sagen, super gemacht. Wir haben es noch nie gemacht und dafür war es mit der Maschine wirklich sehr leicht. Also danke für die Erfahrung auf jeden Fall. Super gemacht. Wirklich. Glückwunsch fürs Gewinnen, ne? Vielen Dank. Habt ihr gut gemacht. Nicht schlecht. So we obviously just won the challenge with ease. Yeah, super easy, honestly. Like we've done this so many times before. Mm. Um, it was really natural for us as well. Absolutely. And we didn't even get our hands dirty because we're such professionals. I no, got myself no, a Mars. That's cool. Uh, no joke, but like we've never done it before. Quite the experience, but now it's actually time to head over to the ambition area. Because there should be some cool stuff, just like uh, Schäfchen's M3. Oh, yeah. I yep. think, yeah, we'll see. Whatever is there should be quite cool, so let's head over. We just made it to the Ambition Hall, which is probably the most anticipated one for us. This looks exciting, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does. It really Finally. does, because screwdrivers and stuff are cool. We're getting more into it, but like we're not experts, <laughs> experts here. Yep. Uh, but on the, that side, you can already see a Hurricane Technica in Verde Mentis, which is quite a nice color, to be fair. From Expel, Expel obviously being a big PPF supplier. And then we walk down here to watch the Ambition area, where people are actually doing a, what do you call it, interview kind of thing. Yeah. Behind Nico is... Oh god, they're loud now. I really like the SF90. The SF90 is really nice. White on white is quite cool. And obviously we got Otto's M3 looking good as well. Especially with the rims. Quite a nice car. And to think what this car has been through is quite crazy actually. Because it does look been, pretty good, yeah. What the fact what he does. It looks like really good. How is it not completely damaged? That, that's what I'm thinking as well, to be honest. So it's still definitely a very, very good looking car. And I like that he actually went white on white on white because it's mm. different. Yep. No one does everything white, but he did, so that's quite cool. Um, obviously, the SF90 being here as well. Ooh, I love that, that's so sick. That is very, very sick. But it's like a beige white, kind of. It's a beige white, but the thing is, I think it's a historical Ferrari color, that one. Mm -hmm. Meaning very expensive. Yeah. So Ferrari paints are very stupidly expensive. The Hurricane behind Nico is, I'm not the biggest fan of it, but at least with these Hurricanes, the livery is actually painted, so it's based on an Evo. Well, and here you can see some people talking about some, I think FIFA, which I guess is interesting for some people. Okay. But if you turn around, you can see quite a large amount of people, which could only mean one thing. And that is that the uh, main attraction of this area right now at 12 o'clock is Schäfchen himself. Uh, so he's back there giving autographs. But should we look at the drift car? Oh yeah. You having fun, Nico? Nico is making sad Nico noises now because we're going away from his idol again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we'll film later with him. And then yeah. you, you, do you want to shake his hand? No. I, oh, oh my God. Do you see wanna. the disrespect? He doesn't yeah. want to. E30. Ooh. E30 built quite crazy, the unicorn, NASA unicorn drift I've, crew. I've seen that on, on social media. It videos. looks quite sick. Yep. It actually does look quite sick. <laughs> okay, let's have a cup on. Servus und willkommen zurück zu einem weiteren Setting Crew Video. Wir sind heute auf der Ambition und ich interviewe heute Schäfchen. Ähm, Schäfchen? Also, du hast dein Mikrofon. Wir sprechen Englisch mittlerweile. Ah, f <lacht> Hello. <lacht> Hello and welcome back to another Certified Setting Crew Video. We are today at the Ambition here in Frankfurt and I'm going to interview Schäfchen. Mr. Sheepman, what did you bring here? Um, G80 M3. Yeah. Thank you very much. This was it. Have Perfect. a good day. Appreciate it. <laughs> All right, so we're basically going to have a quick interview with you. You know, I'm a huge fan of yours and love everything okay. you do. So, um, would you ever consider going camping? We actually had the idea before you guys started doing right. this. <clears throat> um, but we planned it a bit differently and we honestly didn't have the balls to do it properly because I really like my sleep and I don't like sleeping in cars. So <laughs> That's why you get a tent. I'll get you a roof tent for the GT3 RS and everything. Maybe in the future we go camping together. Like I said, we had the idea once, but we didn't really follow through because it was just honestly, you have to be kind of crazy to do it. 
and at the same time it's a lot of effort and a lot of work so yeah i appreciate that you guys are doing it well maybe in the future we go camping together that sounds very romantic i think we should definitely do it in a place where there's a lot of, like haunted stuff yeah i like do that. It a bit crazy or maybe in the us we could also do us you guys are gonna see it we t we said it here live and on it okay anschütteln haben wir gemacht jungs wir sehen uns so, here you know, we are. I'm so happy for Nico that he, he finally, finally got met the his photo. Idol. Yes, honestly, so, I'm so happy for him. Same, honestly, once we visited him, I went in his bedroom and there's like big yeah, like, like posters and stuff. And everything of Otto. So, yeah. honestly, Nico, I'm glad you enjoy it. He's not going to show himself right now because he's still shaking a lot. Mm. But it's okay, you know, he's a happy man now. Yes. So we literally did everything. We waited like one hour just for him to get a picture. That's great. But you guys heard it here first. We are going to, he put his hand on it. Yep, he did. Meaning he will join. We just need to find a good route, which is absolutely crazy, but I'm sure we can do that. So we made it back to the car, which is very good. We walked around a lot. If you're really into your workshop stuff, definitely it's worth coming here, but it's like surprising how many small stands there are. I mean, for us, it was worth it to check it out, but I wouldn't necessarily do it in a private way. Would you? No, right? Probably not. No, no, it was not so exciting, so... You guys can get excited though, because currently we are in the last steps of prepping for our next trip, which is going to be in the UK, which is quite cool. It's going to be called Road to Royalty. We have a lot of cool cars, partners and all that kind of stuff, so get ready for that for sure. Okay guys, um, we got the phone back, which is very interesting. So, it was stolen yesterday at around, let's say, 3.30. And this, we're not making this up. Screen activity was on at 6 o'clock. They didn't get into the phone or anything like that. That's fine. We were talking to the guys here at the reception before in the morning, also calling like, yo, what's up? Uh, talking to them. They didn't want to help us at all. And now we said, okay, we'll wait here because they're calling their boss and he will be here in two hours. But then, literally, 15 minutes ago, a guy in joggers comes into the reception, holding the phone like that. I found a phone here. <laughs> and then I woke up and like, yeah, that's my phone, thank you. Um, and then after that, the boss comes. Like, that is so f up. No way. <laughs> like, if you find a phone at night here in the reception, you put it to the reception. Yeah, of course. If you don't want to steal of it. Course. Okay. Or, as you also said, you put it to reception. If no one's there, you write a little letter, you take a paper from reception, be like, yo, found the phone. Something like that. But that the guy shows up at the time we are waiting there five minutes or ten minutes before the actual boss of the hotel comes that's fucked up yeah and we now decided to stay here <laughs> until they show us security footage wenn man was findet dann legt man es auf die rezeption schreibt ein zettel handy gefunden ich glaube nicht dass es ein hotel nass gewesen wäre Okay, we are now in the car. Detective Alex, Detective Lewis, and Detective Nico. We caught the person in charge. <laughs> God, so the video you're watching right now is actually filmed on the phone, which has been stolen. So obviously we called the hotel, we were like, yeah, what's up, you're missing our phone, da 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 da. And the guy from the hotel is literally telling us, um, yeah, there was a cleaning lady, uh, she, she looked at the phone, thought it was her husband's phone, but then obviously just placed it back, but now it's gone. Um, which is already very odd. And then we uh, kept communicating during the day, well, today, to try and get an answer of where the phone is, and they didn't really answer, so what did we do? We drove to the hotel. Hello. Oh, what a cute <laughs> thumbnail. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. That was actually a bit my day a lot better. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. That yeah. was fun <laughs> because everything worked out. So yeah, thank you so much. Oh my God. Give me the phone. Oh, hi there. That's a Baja truck. <laughs> yeah, we'll give him some more space. Hell yeah. What a guy with number plates. What's happening today? <laughs> I don't know. What today on earth? gets even better and better. So. Literally. Oh my God. Well, shout out to you. I'm not going to end the video because now who knows what's going to happen today. <laughs>